In a shocking turn of events, Burkina Faso's interim president, Captain Ibrahim Traore, renowned for his ability to confront challenges and challenge long-standing African leaders, has become the target of a planned coup. This is not the first time Traore's government has faced such a threat, just months after assuming power in December 2022, he survived an attempted removal by some soldiers. The individuals involved in these attempts were identified as civilians, with Lt. Col. Emmanuel Zomgrona also implicated. Recent reports indicate that soldiers and former soldiers, serving in intelligence, were discovered scouting the residences of key figures in the transitional government, including Traore himself. Consequently, three soldiers have been arrested and charged with plotting against the ruling government, as announced by the country's military prosecutor on Friday. The detained soldiers now face charges of involvement in a military plot, breach of military orders, plotting against state security, criminal association, and endangerment. Notably, former Corporal Samida, one of the arrested individuals, had previously been convicted in a plot against the state back in 2015. While the exact perpetrators of the attempted coup remain unclear, speculations have arisen concerning the involvement of foreign powers. Traore's confrontational stance against the interests of major Western powers, particularly the United States and France, has led some to suspect their potential role in the coup. Traore's efforts to reduce French influence in Burkina Faso and implement economic reforms favoring his country do not align with the neo-colonialist policies pursued by these Western powers. It is important to note that Traore has consistently emphasized that Burkina Faso does not consider France as an enemy. Rather, he advocates for fair and equal trade relations with all nations. At the age of 34, Traore made history as the world's youngest non-royal leader when he assumed power on September 30, 2022, following in the footsteps of the iconic Thomas Sankara, who became president at the age of 33. Traore aims to honor Sankara's legacy by prioritizing democracy and holding presidential elections by July 2024. The attempted coup against Traore's government serves as a stark reminder for Africans, shedding light on the presence of both domestic and foreign individuals who seek to hinder the continent's freedom and progress. The historical precedents of foreign intervention against revolutionary leaders like Gaddafi, Sankara, Krumah, and Lumumba raise suspicions of ongoing attempts to overthrow Ibrahim Traore. Despite this challenge, Traore's popularity among the youth and his commitment to selfless leadership have inspired hope for a free and independent Africa. However, concerns persist that he may succumb to the temptations of power, mirroring the behavior of previous African leaders driven by personal greed. This recent coup attempt in Burkina Faso questions the similarities between President Ibrahim Traore and the iconic Thomas Sankara and whether Western powers are once again involved in destabilizing Burkina Faso's leadership. The similarities between Traore and Sankara's political trajectories, coupled with ongoing anti-French sentiment in the region, fuel speculation about foreign interference and the struggle for influence in Africa Sahel. The return of military coups in Africa has raised concerns globally. Just eight months after seizing power, Lt. Col. Paul Henri Sandiogo Damaba was ousted, leading to questions about the international community's response to these military interventions. In the context of shifting regional and sub-regional geopolitical dynamics, France and Russia are engaged in a battle for influence in Western and Central African countries, with Paris seeking to maintain its historical role in the region. The situation in Burkina Faso demands vigilance and solidarity, ensuring that the aspirations of the African people for freedom and progress are not thwarted. The attempted coup against Ibrahim Traore serves as a reminder that there are individuals who prioritize personal gain over the welfare of their people, both within and beyond the country's borders. As events unfold, it is crucial for stakeholders to remain engaged and proactive in supporting the ideals of democracy, sovereignty, and economic independence for Burkina Faso and the wider African continent. The trajectory of Burkina Faso under Traore's leadership will undoubtedly shape the future of the country and its role in the international community. At the center of Burkina Faso's political landscape stands Captain Ibrahim Traore, a 34-year-old former corps commander of the Kaya Artillery Regiment in the north. His rise to power mirrors the trajectory of Thomas Sankara, who challenged France's control over Burkina Faso and its sub-regional security imperatives nearly four decades ago. 
Sankara's defiance of Paris coincided with a bloody civil war in Chad, where France and Russia were embroiled in a proxy conflict during the Cold War era. The new military authorities in Ouagadougou appear confident in their dealings with the international community, despite Western condemnation of the coup. However, France seeks to influence the sub-regional economic community of West African states Jekawas, to adopt a more conciliatory approach, urging a return to constitutional order by the end of 2024. In response, President Ibrahim Traoré expressed his intention to expedite the restoration of constitutional order if the situation allows, without explicitly mentioning France as a partner in the country's fight against terrorism. Protests have erupted in major Burkinabi cities in the aftermath of the coup, characterized by anti-French slogans and the waving of Russian flags. The growing anti-French sentiment in Burkina Faso, as well as in Mali, Niger, Central Africa, and Maghreb countries, raises concerns among French leaders. These sentiments reflect a broader sentiment against the legacy of French colonial rule in the region. Additionally, France recently hinted at the possibility of withdrawing its military forces from Gambia, adding to President Emmanuel Macron's setbacks in military operations. The similarities between Ibrahim Traoré and Thomas Sankara are striking, as both leaders challenged the status quo and advocated for Burkina Faso's independence from foreign influence. The suspicion of Western involvement in destabilizing leaders who prioritize their country's interests over those of external powers is not unfounded, given historical precedents. As the situation in Burkina Faso unfolds, it is crucial to critically examine the motivations and actions of foreign powers in the region. The rise of anti-French sentiment and the emergence of alternative partners for Burkina Faso and neighboring countries in the Sahel highlight a shifting geopolitical landscape. The aspirations of African nations for self-determination, sovereignty, and economic independence should be respected and supported by the international community. The trajectories of Ibrahim Traoré and Thomas Sankara reflect the ongoing struggle for Africa's autonomy and progress. It is a reminder that African leaders who prioritize the welfare of their people over external interests may face opposition from powers seeking to maintain their historical influence. The people of Burkina Faso and the wider African continent must remain vigilant in safeguarding their aspirations for a prosperous and independent future. What are your thoughts on the parallels between Ibrahim Traoré and Thomas Sankara? Do you believe Western powers are involved in destabilizing Burkina Faso's leadership? Share your opinions in the comments section below.